Hello everybody, welcome to Legacies of Cain. Now Event of Darkness story, Vampire the Masquerade, the 20th game. If you're joining us for the first time, we are quite deep into the adventure. I would recommend checking out the early ones, but if you just want to see what was going on right now, our cast of vampires is running a supernatural auction in Hawaii. And things have been going well. Judging that it's a amazing uh, group of their friends, enemies, and frenemies. And also some people that probably will murder them if they get a chance. You got the assassins called off of me. Yes! <laughs> you got the, that you didn't even know were called on you. <laughs> Good there, you are very welcome. <laughs> It's the age-old, wait a second, assassins? <laughs> Ooh. It's kind of more of like, assassins? Yeah, I kind of thought that might be possible. <coughs> See, the question wasn't whether or not he would send assassins at me, or send, send assassins at me. The question was, does he know I'm here to send assassins? <laughs> Apparently so. Yeah. Apparently he's got enough friends and places to look into you. Uh, and still has that chip on his shoulder, just a little bit of one. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, well, last time, uh, after you had had your luau and your fortunes read, you're prepping for the auction. You learn that, oh, wait, we don't have an auctioneer. I guess mm -hmm. Nathan can do it. Uh, you managed to communicate with a couple of people. Uh, you, uh, talked with, uh, Depadwao, uh, convinced him to not murder somebody, sort of? Sort of? Yeah. I thought we were, I thought we were gonna use that one other person as the auctioneer. The yeah. one that hated you? Yeah, Christine. Uh, the ghoul? Yeah. And I've oh. gotta convince Celestine to uh, turn her. Oh, oh yeah. that's right, yeah. Yeah, she 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 said if you can convince Celestine, she will help you out on that. Yeah, so yeah. Nathan doesn't have to take the stage. Yeah, because <clears throat> right now he's scheduled to it. <laughs> if yeah. you can't do anything. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, and you you did talk to Marie a little bit about her horrible plans and her new friend that she was bringing in, who seems like a very awful friend to bring in. Yep, and we let. Some people know about that awful friend. <laughs> yes. Which hopefully will help out. I'm hoping. So let's kind of dive into what everybody's characters are kind of feeling and up to right now. As I kind of usual do, let's start with, uh, where am I to meal? Um, Meal's looking into that sword. Um, he's a, he has an interest in it. Uh, also, you know, but, uh. Otherwise, he's just kind of staying out of people's way and keeping an eye on things. Uh, Nathan. Mm. I have no idea how to convince a Tremere to embrace somebody. <laughs> what up? Yeah, <clears throat> that's going to be fun. Yep. And Dawn? Dawn is very, very stressed at all times. Yeah. At this point, she no longer remembers who the fuck she's meant to beat up, but she's just kind of ready at all times to punch the first person that comes near her. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There That's might be some. Yep. There just might be someone there to punch. You never know. Mm -hmm. Just always have a ready to action. Mm hmm. Alright, so what's the plan right now? You still have about... Oh... An hour? Before the auction begins? And if... Nathan, if you were going to be doing it, you'd probably need... To do it now. Yeah, you could probably get away with prepping, like... Ten minutes ahead of time if you really pushed it. More time would be better. So. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, well, I will go ahead and find... Um, ooh, I will message Emil and say, hey, can you go uh, look through the information on all of the items to help uh, 
tell me about it. So that I can go take care of something else. Very well. Awesome. Is there... there should be records uh, for you to uh, yeah. pour over. I get what I can from... Uh... Uh, Mr. Cromwell? Yeah, Mr. Cromwell. <clears throat> you got descriptions of what these things are, basically, and uh, some of them do have titles. I'll give those to you. Uh, um, that's pretty much where you're at right now. Awesome. And, like, an idea of where to start the bidding for each thing? Yes, and there's some yeah. basic ideas of where to start the bidding, too, for all the Awesome. Items. Yeah. Awesome. And I'm probably going to, uh, <clears throat> yeah, just be like, this item from this place, you know, we'll be starting at, you know. Yeah, not yet. You you, you yeah. figure it out. Oh, that's uh, what you're... I'm, I know, that's what I'm saying I'll be doing, is figuring out information so that way you can basically give at least that much info about it. This item Excellent. from this place this amount. Excellent. Meanwhile, I am going to go briefly speak to Ryan. Okay. Hey, Ryan. Oh, hi, Nathan. How's it going? Uh, a little bit tense at the moment, but it should be fine. I am wondering if the Great Lord Cockroach has any suggestions on how to convince a vampire to embrace someone. Uh, oh, wow. That's a tough one. Um, mm -hmm. I never uh, thought about that kind of thing. I'm, I'm not surprised. Well, uh, I could, uh, I could try to, you know, um, consult with him and see if he can give any suggestions. That would be great. I'm going to go talk to Ken. <coughs> All right then. Thank you, Ryan. Let me get into meditation mode. Oh, gotta mm -hmm. calm myself down a little bit into this. Uh, okay. Yeah. I can send someone in to uh, give you a massage if you'd like. Would that help? Oh, probably not. Okay. <laughs> it's just gonna make him shit himself. All right, I'll be back in a little bit. I'm gonna head over to Candy. Okay. Uh, Candy will probably just be handling the business side of things um she's probably looking into how the hotel is being run uh you know making sure everything is going smoothly setting up uh there's like a like a snack spread or something and drinks going around um things like that hmm hello dear oh hi nathan how's it going well it's going rather well uh considering we have uh, a slight difficulty that I was thinking perhaps you might be able to help me with. Okay. Okay, what can I help you with? Well, as the nature of business is deals all, of all sorts, uh, someone wishes to join someone else's family. Uh, much like you and Emil and Dawn and I are our family. Okay, yeah, I get that. Mm-hmm. And I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, help smooth this person's entry. Hmm, that's a tough one. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I've never been good with uh, family stuff as much, per se. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, if you're trying to convince someone else to take someone into their family, usually doesn't it involve, like, uh, maybe some money exchanges, uh, you know, or um, item exchanges, favors and stuff? I would think if it's something more like a little bit mobstery, if maybe that's what you're working on. Um, they usually look for favors and stuff. While on the other hand, if you're looking at more like rich folks, um, that's a little more difficult. I don't have as much experience with the 
super well off when it comes to family kind of things. But I thought that uh, if it's a reasonable deal or something or some kind of contract they could make, they Ooh. might want that. Hmm. Very clever. Uh, what did you think of your fortune, by the way? It was very interesting. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, uh, who would you like to have power over? Oh, me? I never thought of that. I've always thought that I've been in an interesting position, especially since you put me in charge of so much stuff around the business. I know you're very busy with your little adventures and globe trotting with Dawn and mm -hmm. Emil. You know, you're you're off <clears throat> Indiana Jonesing it or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you'll get it out of your system eventually. Hmm. It's uh, I know it's like a midlife crisis or something. I'm sure. Mm, something like that. <clears throat> Hmm. Dead on life crisis. Are you enjoying yourself running the the business? Oh yes, I've been having a good time. I didn't know I was quite as good at business until the this point in time. It was interesting to find that out. Hmm. I always had a good eye for numbers and setup and things. I mean, back when when I was with Frank, you know, um <laughs> Frank's not really good at that kind of thing. It's good to see that he's apprenticing under some kind of, uh, uh, I guess you could say... Uh, some computer uh, thing? Yeah, some computer thing, some professor. Hmm. He's, I think he went back to college, I'm sure. Good for him. Well, you know, I always told him he should go back to college. He, he dropped out after the first year. He never finished up. Granted, back then I heard tale that he was going to theater major. So going into computers probably much better. Well, I imagine that'll <clears throat> serve him better in the future. Look, I'm just saying, you can only um, use your body or your uh, your outfit for so long before you uh, graduate out of that point. And as much as he seems to enjoy that outfit, I think he's graduated from it, which is good. Hmm. Sure. <clears throat> Have, do you feel that you've graduated? Hmm... I can't say for sure. I still enjoy a good time, and there's certainly a side hmm. to the business that reflects on that. True. Sure. Well, I think that uh, you are doing a fantastic job, and I think that such work should be thoroughly rewarded uh, by more than just a Hawaiian vacation. Oh, thank you. We'll have to talk about that then. That'll be wonderful. Indeed. All right. Well, you are doing a fantastic job, so I will leave you to it. Thank you very much. All right. I'll head back to Ryan. <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah, you don't t say. That's very interesting. You know, no, 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 no. Look, I know, I know, I probably should uh, hang out with her more, but it's big business in New York, you know. Midwest, New York, it takes us very so far apart. Uh, you know, well, maybe, maybe you're right, maybe you're right. But a ring's so expensive, and I don't earn a lot of money working for Mr. Nathan. I mean, you know, he's very good to me and keeps me room and board and all, but maybe maybe a salary might be nice. No, I know, I know. It'd be rude of me to ask, especially when I, you know, we're helping him for the greater good of our own people. Uh, hail the revolution and all. But uh, you know, uh, sometimes you want to buy some nice things for, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Maybe just something something cheap will be it. Yeah, I know. I should spend more time with Sarah anyway. Oh, uh, hi Nathan. How long have you been there? Oh, not very long. Uh, yeah, I was just chatting with the great Lord Cockroach. Fantastic. Any uh, <coughs> words of wisdom for me? Um, well, uh, he has peered into the souls of the area, and he can tell me that uh, at very least um, uh, the person that you seek is not as corrupt as some of the other ones. Hmm, that's, that's an interesting 
word to use. Uh, huh. Yeah, I believe uh, he has um, he has a a, a little bit of a uh, what would they call it, uh, like a soul left or something. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that might help out a little bit. Thank you very much, Ryan. And uh, Ryan, did did you know that I've authorized you for use of the jet? Oh, no, I didn't. That's uh, very nice of you. Yes, you can, uh, as long as I'm obviously not using it at the time, you can take it to go wherever you need to. <coughs> that sounds very good. Well, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. I probably won't need it, but some trips back home and I, here and there might be nice. Yeah. Excellent. All right, thank you very much for your, your help, uh, and thank you as well, Great Lord Cockroach. Uh, are you ready for the auction? Oh, yeah. I got a snazzy business suit. Uh, Sarah found me Ooh. this really nice one with red and black accents. I think it brings out my face. And mm. and it's uh, not too expensive, so in case I need to get all uh, big and mean, it tears away pretty much. Oh, fantastic. Sounds like Sarah is a darling. All right, I'm off to do my best. Wish me luck. Okay. <clears throat> The proper titles of all the items are now in the auction item notes, if you want to look at those. Fantastic. Your goblin is being put up as the goblin of the first. The spider totem is the web of Anasa. The old uh, coins are bonds of the dreaming. The black uh, dagger is claws of the abyss. Uh, the tapest family armor. Headdress that maybe is African is the eyes of the beset. The staff of Tremere. Uh, the Vial of Blood is called the Blood of the Ancient. The Silver Mirror is the Soul of Gaia. Uh, the Dawn of Gehenna, you knew about the Tapestry. The Ancestor Lantern for the Lantern. Uh, the Silver Sword doesn't actually have a proper sword. Uh, it doesn't have actually proper name. It's just described as a Silver Sword of a particular note when it came to uh, ancient battles. Then there's the Ether Box. Uh, the Drop of Enoch is the Gold Coin. Uh, the demonic statue is the son of Nergal, and then there's the copy of the air scene fragments. Okay, fantastic. All right, then I'm gonna uh, <coughs> head up to Celestine's chambers or rooms right. or whatever. Um, he actually is boarding by himself, even though he did come seemingly with uh, Grim uh, Groth. Grim Probably Groth. fortunately for you. Grimgroth, as far as I'm aware, has never seen me. No, not directly. No, I will not. I will not say he has not seen you directly, but it doesn't mean he'd be friendly. Well, no. All right. Well, I will. And text uh, Dawn where I am, just in case. Okay. Dawn's like struggling to put the new shoes on right now because she's so fucking stressed okay um so uh there'll be a little bit of a wait and you'll uh you'll hear the door will kind of open a little bit yes hello I don't believe we've officially met my name is Nathan Hmm. And I yes, believe you are... Nathan. And I believe you're Celestine? Ah, yes. I was wondering if you'd stop by. Interesting that you chose me over Grimgroth. Then again, he probably knows less than I do. I, I'm sure that I have no idea your relative knowledge pools. Oh, let me Although say... Grimgroth does have a, a much less fascinating name. Yes. Well, he's fixated on a certain wooden stick. I happen to have seen many things when that stick left the Sanchantry all those months ago. Hmm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Yes. I thought I'd have an opportunity to take advantage of things. Oh. Well, if you don't mind my asking, what, uh, what sort of advantage are you looking to take? Well, you see, I have a enemy that I wish to take care of that probably is a dangerous enemy to many of us. Hmm. And? I know several who would fit that description. Well, I know for a fact that you sought and acquired a certain item for a certain man who's now here at the auction. There are very few of us who know his true name and true identity, but I happen to be one of them. Mm -hmm. I keep things on the quiet. I may be Tremere, oh. but I am... I have business that is beyond just my own clan. Ah. Our kind Interesting. Our kind faces may... Come, come in, come in. Before we talk more. Oh. Thank you. Thank I'll go in. Our kind, he'll kind of walk back. Our kind faces many dangers in the modern night. Many problems. It seems like we're always on the cusp of Gehenna itself. Something rising. This problem, that problem. Our own elders rising against us. Some of them are probably already awake. We've seen signs of them. Hmm. Hmm. Ravnos. Sumiche, the Sombra, each of them awake in their own way. Hmm. And dangerous, but, but, not without merit. You see, there are many I... dangers around. And there's a name that perhaps you would call, I'm not sure if you do or not, Kapala. Do you remember that name? Kapala sounds familiar. I believe a friend of mine was uh, particularly upset with them. Let's just say that I was also upset. Hmm. And I was hoping to arrange something with a certain item that they might have a hold of. An item which would be of use in this case. Ah. And what item might that be? A blade forged long ago. All right. As far as I'm aware, there are quite a few of those. That's true. That's quite an interesting one up for auction now. Ah. <coughs> That's not the only thing up for auction, which perhaps... perhaps would be good to acquire in such cases. Hmm. Such as? <laughs> well, I was going to let you describe why you were here before we continue why I am glad to see you. Ah, well. Because I'm sure that as much as I have goals, an item from the auction, a chat, you might have goals too, especially if you've come to me directly. Oh, <coughs> I have many, many goals. Ah, Success, wealth, pleasure, uh, and survival. My more immediate goals uh, regard the uh, more mundane matters of the auction itself, as sadly, our auctioneer has been misplaced. That seems to be troublesome. Indeed. I have ha found a potential replacement, and this replacement has asked a favor of you. A favor of me? Mm-hmm. Hmm. And so in that sense, in essence, I am asking a favor of you. All right. Let's start with this first favor, because there's also some favors I know I could give you that I don't think you're quite aware of. But I've noticed some things with the guest list. 
that have told me it. Ah. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, yes. Well, the favor I am requesting is for you to join one of those guests to your clan. Oh. Now, which one would want to join our clan? I'm fairly certain I'm aware of which. One I'm fairly certain you are as well. One that is in much trouble because of someone else's actions. Well, I can't say that it couldn't be arranged. What happens after that will be up to them and whoever they work for. But hmm. the embrace... You arrange the place beyond the control of any prince. I can give it. I wouldn't be against it. But there are some things that uh, perhaps you could help me arrange then. A meeting with a mutual friend, for one, and that's just a starter. Remember, hmm. I'm giving something that's a little bit more dangerous than just a meeting. A meeting is just talking. Perhaps something hmm. comes of it, perhaps something doesn't. But, how about this? Favoritism for a certain item. Hmm. <clears throat> Let me put it this way. It will be the only item I bid on. So you can't hmm. change anything now. But if you let people know that if there's favoritism towards me and my bids, then that happens. Perhaps even a back-end discount. Not that I don't have some of the fundings to take care of things, but I would oh, rather save some of the resources I have for other uses. That makes sense. But there's only one trade-off. The embrace of one you seek for an item in a meeting. That is great. But someone has shown up on the item someone has shown up on the island that I quite dislike mm. I'm sure you're aware of Vikos Vikos I was going to uh, tell you you had to be more specific there are many people here I am not a fan of but business is business so what uh, plans have you for Vikos oh personally none. I wouldn't. But I could perhaps uh, give warnings to a couple old friends of mine. DeLaurent, Beckett. They would wish to know the Vicos is on the island. Hmm. And seems dangerously close to this auction, but not part of it. Interesting. Hmm. Perhaps something is being planned. <clears throat> there are many things being planned around here. Indeed. I will point <clears throat> out that I only come for an auctioneer. And I cannot promise that uh, our mutual associate will agree to a meeting. However, I will do what I can to arrange it. That's very good. At least bring up and that uh, we have a mutual opponent. Interest. Yes, within the depths of Romania. Mm -hmm. As for the other matter, well... As for the other matter, I believe that should my new auctioneer be informed of the one who will very graciously give them what they would like, that they might be able to take care of certain elements of uh, favoritism, so to speak, mm -hmm. on their own. Well, it seems like we at least have a base agreement. As for Indeed. the depths of it, there's still a matter that I believe should be resolved. I sense there's more here than is being left on. Something a little hidden beneath the waves. 
I don't know what you're planning or involved with, but you've certainly let someone very dangerous into your next. Vikings. I'm sorry, did you look at the guest list? There are quite a few dangerous entities on it. And most of them are here in a peaceful manner. But I'm sure hmm. you've heard tales of Vikos. I have. Vikos is a monster even among many monsters. I've heard several whose names begin with uh, a similar sound tend to be so. <coughs> well, I have given my warning. If you wish to act on said warning, always feel free to return. And perhaps I can offer both some assistance and some information. Oh. Or you may continue down a very dangerous path. Perhaps a little too dangerous for you, but hmm, we'll have to see. We shall in fact see. I feel reasonably confident that should anyone try and cause trouble at the auction itself, uh, that most there will be much preferred to keep things civil. Hmm. And so I will consider your uh, suggestion. And perhaps I will follow your advice. Yes. Post auction. Perhaps, perhaps you should. Indeed. Very nice doing business with you, sir. Always. And I wish you the best of luck, the auction. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to run back to Christine's room and be like, look, good news. He says, yeah, but you're going to have to go on a cruise for it. <coughs> Darn. And uh, I've got someone in the back room uh, looking into all the items so that they can help inform you of starting prices and, and such like. All right. Any, anything else I should know? Hmm. Well, given that you named the... Uh, the person you thought was most likely to accept to me, I believe you capable of figuring out what sort of things that person asked of me. There's a small list that I could assume, but I don't know that person quite as well as I knew others from my sanctuary. Sanctu uh, shantry. I only know Fair. that he was an exile that still remained friendly with the clan. Fair. Um, well, then, to be blunt, plain, and frank, there's an item that will be taken off the list. All right. Do you know which item? Yes. Okay. Then I guess just give me the updated list. Excellent. Anything else for now? I'll escort you down. You should. <coughs> if you'd like to uh, prepare, then it might be best if you were to do so in the presence of the items themselves. Very well. Chill follow you down. Alright, I'm going to head down to Emil. Mm -hmm. Text Dawn. Do you still need help with those shoes? Uh, candy helped. Excellent. 
will be down in the uh, secure back room. Okay. I still need ten minutes. I'll be there. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> She'll be there eventually. <coughs> if you need more help, I can send more people to help. <laughs> <laughs> this point My employees are excellent at getting dressed. And the reverse. Just going to be brushing my hair to calm me down. She's offering me brownies, you know. Hmm. You'd probably need a lot of brownies. Yeah, like you need a couple of trays of them. Alrighty. When you walk in, Emil is like doing that thing where it's like you fold a piece of paper in half to like making a thing with like information written on it in front of each item. Excellent. Probably doing like the last two. <laughs> you know. All right, Emil. Uh, we will yes. be removing one of the items. Um, it seems that. Uh, there are questions as to the uh, legitimacy of the item that have only recently become known to us. Hey, uh, which one? Uh, the glaive. Okay. I want that one. <laughs> Sadly, we will need to uh, retain that. However, the uh, as it was donated for a charity auction, it will probably end up remaining uh, associated with the un uh, the University of London until its uh, true nature can be more completely established. And then it will join the collection and perhaps be auctioned off at some future date. Very well. Uh, uh, how much was the uh, base starting for that particular item? Uh, insert X amount here. I didn't really come up with base starting amounts for these things, so... <laughs> you know? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just trying to see if it's like... It's very hard to estimate what, like, supernatural auction items should go for money-wise. I'm just gonna say that. Fair. <laughs> just... So, I'm just asking for, like, what, a relative price. It's like a base um, price. <laughs> relative price compared to the other items. Uh, talking about sword? Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say it's in the middle of the ground. Probably. Okay. All right. All right. Is Alistair also uh, in the back room, or is he out doing something else? He's still probably in the back room, uh, finishing setup. Hmm. Ah, Nathan, are you preparing yourself? Uh, in fact, I have found a replacement. Oh, uh, well. Christine will be taking over for me. Uh, she was a librarian and excellent at organizational stuff. Are you sure she can do a fine job of auctioneering? Hmm. No. But I think she'll be fine. Well, I hope so. Mm -hmm. I heard a name that I've only ever heard you refer to, uh, by the way. Did you know? I did. I have, uh, I have had the opportunity to meet Celestine, who indicated that they knew you. Yes, I know of this man. He is an associate of some uh, fellows who are also nautists. As you can, as I've sense. said before, I am more of a weekend nautist. I have greater business, but I dabbled into knowledge of the past. 
he is, along with the core group that does seem to be present here, some of the top names within that group. Hmm. Well, the name I heard him say was uh, not one that I remember <coughs> you referring to when discussing Nodist hmm. information. It was more something uh, related to the item that you were requesting us find for you. Hmm, interesting. The name was Kapala. Celestine indicated that uh, perhaps the two of you shared an enemy in Kapala. There's true, there's some animosity with such a name, and it's interesting that uh, you would be discussing it with him. I question why. Why had that name come up? He had requested a meeting with you, <coughs> indicating that he knew more than others about your history. I, of course, did not confirm nor deny anything. I merely said that I would pass along his request for a meeting and arrange it should such a meeting be in your interest. Hmm. Perhaps it would not be a terrible idea to meet with him at some point in time. He's an interesting fellow. One who is off the main stage, but in a way oftentimes in many places. I'm honestly surprised that he's here. Unless there's something that he's planning. Something to think about. Indeed. I have a feeling quite a number of plans are going to come to fruition today. Uh, hopefully only the ones that uh, I'm happy with will find fruition. We'll find success, right? And yours, of course. Indeed. All right. Um, also, uh, one of the item's veracity has been called into question. So we will perhaps be required to move, remove the... Uh, Bless you. Thank you. Didn't realize vampires sneezed. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> apparently the uh, longer sword has been questioned, so in the interest of satisfaction, we will remove that from the auction list. That does seem Until to be such much... time as it can be verified. That does seem to be much more interesting than the items, as it is one that has no specific title and seems to have had some changes over the years. Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. There's some uh, words that must be taken care of and some investigations with it. One less no, item shouldn't hurt our show off. Of course. But be warned, if you remove something from the auction, it might cause some problems with some of the guests oh. that were looking forward to it. Oh, I'm sure that it will. However, certainly they would not want to spend so much money or whatever other resources they are spending to acquire something that has not been verified. And of course, should it remain with the University of London, it can then be auctioned off at some point in the future once its uh, nature is more clear. Indeed. All right. I look forward to seeing you at the auction, sir. All right. I hope your 
wife enjoys the uh, I hope that Lucy enjoys the uh, festivities. Hmm. Indeed. He'll get back to work. Excellent. All right. All right. Uh, why don't we take our first break here? We're in about an hour. Uh, well, we start a little late, but still, we are at about an hour in time, so it's a perfect good time to take a break in between uh, actions <coughs> before we move on to the next portion. Uh, so if you need to use the bathroom, grab a drink, grab a snack, anything like that, go ahead and do that. Come back to us when you are done, and we'll be back in a couple of minutes. So please do those things and see you in a minute, folks.